By the end of this video, you will be able to know how to set up the project correctly and how to structure your folders. Let's just open our Epic Game Engine. After you open it, let's go to Games, Blank, choose where you want your project, and pick the name. And make sure that ray tracing is enabled. The reason why we're doing Games in Blank is so that we can start with a clean play. Okay, now that we are in, there's a few things we need to do before we start messing things up. First, we're going to go to Edit, Project Settings. We're going to be disabling a few things. The first thing is Auto Exposure. The reason why we're disabling it, changing it to Manual, is so that we have full control over the brightness. And then another thing we're going to be turning off is Texture Streaming. What Texture Streaming does is it will downgrade your texture if your VRAM starts getting a little tight. And the reason why it does it is because we're working in the game engine. But for us, we don't need it because we're doing cinematics. And after those two, we're going to go to settings, plugins, and then enable movie render queue. What it does is it will give you additional render settings. Let's just restart the engine. Now let's move on to structures and layout. Think of it as your inventory and you want things exactly where it needs to be so that you spend less time searching and more time creating. The first thing we need to create is a new folder that's called 00, that's inside of the content. The reason why we name it 00 is so that it comes first when we need to search up anything. So this acts as your master folder. And inside of this master folder, we're gonna be creating a few new folders. First is called levels, which is your scenes, your sequence and everything. Meshes, effects, blueprints, material, and textures. 